<coughs> My love is everlasting. Ever, ever. Everlasting to everlasting. Ever, ever. Girl, you make me upgrade my tactics. Oh, Hello, guys. Welcome to Boxing Blocks and I'm the home of Nigerian African Boxing. Please, if you're new to this channel, make sure you click the like and, of course, the sub. Subscribe right now. And please don't forget to click the notification bell icon. Okay, that will help you, of course. You know, know and notify it will notify you whenever we drop banger because it's very important that you do so. If not, I won't be able to, like, you'll be able to see my you know, upload on YouTube that often due to the policy. YouTube doesn't really send notification out to subscribers, only those who like have the notification bell icon on. Please do so now. Let's get to it for the first time. In 15 years, Lenos Lewis has finally at least given Joshua his accolade after Joshua's devastating performance against Francis Ngannou, the predictor. But before we get to that, Tristan Tate also said that Joshua saved boxing. You see, that win, that Joshua win against Francis Gano was very necessary in the manner it ended because all those guys, these um, Joshua haters from the woodwork coming out and saying yeah, he was supposed to do that. Even some boxers say he was supposed to do that to Francis Gano. But before that, all those guys had different opinion. Even during the live uh, March watch along that I did, Basically, 57% of the fans on the zone picked Ngannou to beat Anthony Joshua. 57. Can you believe that? After what happened, happened, all of them changed their mouths and said, Oh, now you have all these guys coming from the woodwork saying, believing in Joshua again. But it's very interesting. Let's hear Tristan, uh, Tristan Tate, Andrew Tate's brother, who of course met Joshua some time back. And Funny enough, this guy spot Joshua as an amateur. It's very interesting. Let's now, talk about it. Let's talk about it. So firstly, I don't know if you guys watched the fight. We have a, a clip here. One second. You know how to do this shit better than me. I don't miss the producer no. at all. And he's Mr. Producer. Mr. Producer. Makes the best show. So guys, if you didn't watch the fight, here is the clip from the fight. But he's finding this very difficult in there, Francis and Gardu. Right hand landed solid. As did the left. Oh. Slept him. Oh, right, wow. absolutely slept him. All right, let me tell you my opinions on this. I'll tell you my opinions on this. One, Let's go. First of all, keep in mind, I know Anthony a little bit. I know him a little bit. I don't know him, know him by a little bit. I actually sparred with him when I was. 18 19 he was an up-and-coming boxer fighting for british championships i was an up-and-coming kickboxer stevenage boxing club uh trainer called paul reese put me down there i sparred with anthony joshua a few other dudes sparred with dylan white i sparred with a bunch of dudes back in the day because you know in the uk fighting scene it was good to spar with other people your height who you knew you were never actually gonna fight we were from different sports but we were doing boxing sparring so i have spotted a few rounds with that and years and years and years ago um, met him recently in Dubai, so I, I kind of know Anthony. Like we're on a, we're on a, let's say uh, we're acquaintances. If I see him, I'll buy. You him say hello, he'll yeah. say hello. Yeah, exactly. Well, you know, I'll, yeah. I'll, I'll send a bottle, bottle to his table or whatever. I know he doesn't drink, but so I kind of know Anthony. And Anthony, I have to say, there's um, still, you know, I'm a patriotic British person. Yes, yeah. I, I still am in my heart. And Anthony really, really, really put a smile on my face the other night for two reasons. I feel like. Francis Ngannou, I've got nothing but respect for him. He's a dangerous machine, bro. Machine. Fucking came across in a dinghy, spent time in jail from the streets. He just got paid $20 million. Good for him, good for his family. But let me tell you something. If Ngannou had slept Anthony, let's talk the other way around. If Ngannou had beaten Anthony Joshua, it would mean something very scary for boxing. It would mean that you could go through the pedigrees of amateur career, Olympics, doing well in the Olympics, 
pro career and you could go through this honing process that boxers go through that perfects them into these boxing machines and a big man who knows how to punch quite well can just knock you out if he's big and strong enough so that would mean the end of boxing as far as i'm concerned because it would mean like what does that mean for boxing and Nagano certainly has that power you know certainly i mean if he punched anthony in the face he could knock him out but the, the trick is he couldn't punch him in the face so Anthony, they're two dudes of similar size, similar build. They stand next to each other and do the untrained eye. People are like, oh, well, who's going to win? Um, I think Anthony single-handedly saved boxing the other night. He saved heavyweight boxing. Yeah, he did. He uh, did. The only thing I could say about Tyson Fury, because I love Tyson. So you guys heard it. Tristan Tyson, Anthony Joshua single-handedly saved boxing. And uh, let's, of course, hear... Um, yeah, out um, let us Lewis praising Joshua for the first time in 15 years, basically, like not even praising him, but giving them some accolades. I think you know, AJ's been busy for the last year and he's um, you know, had wins, and um, you know, he's had wins against opponents that you know, they're, they're B class opponents to him. You know, I want to see him against an A-class opponent. And uh, I believe that, um, you know, the Tyson Fury fight would be a great fight for AJ. I think AJ's been waiting for this type of opportunity. You know, he's like, that's the fight he wants. And, you know, you could see it in his last fight. You know, he was focused. He threw a nice right hand. And, you know, he protected the boxing fraternity. You know, the UFC guys coming in. He's not, he's not boxing anybody. He, hasn't, he didn't box anybody. He goes straight to the top. If you go straight to the top, this is what happens because, you know, you haven't worked your way to the top. And that's what you have to do. You have to work your way to the top to get that experience. So when you're at the top, you've got the experience and you can use it. Well, there you have it. Um, now let's get to the take of our brother, Todd Jagbe. Ajabwe, what do you make of Lennox Lewis uh, take? And Andrew Tate's take. Uh, no, Andrew Tate. Tristan Tate. Did you just want to say boxing? Bro, this is the second time AJ has saved. He came in a clutch to save Tyson Fury's ass from the Saudis. Remember him and Usyk? supposed to fight in February you know and all of a sudden this guy pulls out claiming injury prior everybody knew this clown of a fighter the gypsy shit house the gypsy shitter was going to do this listen listen nobody can deny this everybody knew Everybody knew Tyson Fury was going to do this shit. He was going to pull out. The guy's a liar. There's absolutely no way. Absolutely no way. He thought he was going to be ready for somebody of Usyk's caliber with the way he fights. Absolutely no way. One, Tyson Fury is not up to par. His stamina, his endurance is not even close to... to to um 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 of 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 somebody of, of like Usyk, you know, it's not even close. But now, Tyson Fury <coughs> is gonna is is I don't care what nobody says. I don't believe this guy. He's 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 uh in, 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 he has employed that uh that 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 doctor that he always employs just before a big fight. I forgot I forgot the doctor's name actually. Um, he he's he's a sports medicine doctor, you know. He, he's well known. This guy's well known. He, he was even boasting about how Tyson Fury could cheat and how somebody could cheat when it comes to not being drug tested, flying out last minute. You know, by the time they come back, that thing's out of your system. That's who Tyson Fury has employed for the Usyk fight. Look into it. I'm I'm pretty pissed. I, I I I I don't know this guy's name, but that's who Tyson Fury has employed. You know, 
I believe his name is uh, Dr. Usman, if I'm not mistaken. If I'm not mistaken. That's who Tyson Fury has employed. You know, for big fights like this, he employs he employs that guy. That's crazy the way the guy said, you you take whatever you need to take. By the time these guys get to you, you need to fly out. Once you fly out, all you need is a good 24, 72 hours. It's gone out of your system. It can't, it can't be detected. Right? This guy does this cycle, 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 cycle continuously up until the day of his fight. By the day of his fight, it's gone. So Tyson Fury already has that edge. You wonder how this clown goes from weighing nearly 300 pounds down to a certain amount. Look, ask his doctor. The doctor asked him. That's how he does it. Because I told you guys, this, this is what he does. This is what he does. There's no way. There's no way you tell him you're going to fight and then you pull out of that fight because you're afraid. They're going to drug test you. You pull out. You're not ready to be tested yet. And then you claim injury out of nowhere. You claim injury. That people that you're sparring weeks before a fight. Right? That you're not supposed to be sparring. You're sparring weeks before a fight. And then suddenly you claim injury. You say somebody cut you. Right? You could have cut yourself pre-hand. And then you tapped in that ring. Let them touch you up. And you get cut. Right? And all of a sudden, the fight is off. Of course. Of course it's going to be off. I called it. A million people probably called it too. That fight wasn't going to happen. And it came to fruition. It wasn't going to happen. It didn't happen. You knew how you play your game. You did it so many times in your career. You continue doing it. Okay? Man, I really wish that Usyk has got this guy on a stringent test in 24-7. Because all of a sudden, you, you, you said you don't, need, you don't need that time to train for Usyk. But Tyson Fury has has had enough time, longer than AJ, to train for Usyk. I'll say it again. Tyson Fury has had a long time, longer than AJ, to get prepared for somebody like Usyk. I'm not worried about it. Because Usyk is going to make Tyson look stupid. He's going to make him look stupid. Okay? You can't say that. Because you can't. people, people can't say, oh, uh, uh, uh. Try to give Tyson Fury a pass like they always do. Tyson Fury fought Ungano. That was Tyson Fury that fought Ungano. There wasn't no I, I didn't prepare for Ungano. Nobody told you to take nobody told you not to take to take that fight. <coughs> you're the heavyweight king. Or shall I say you're the heavyweight champion as of right now. Because you should be preparing for Usyk, not not Ungano. That was absolutely a disservice to boxing fans to the boxing community that was a disservice to them okay because you keep holding up the heavyweight division all right all of a sudden you fight you you can't they're not, i'm not gonna allow anybody to give tyson fury a pass that was the real tyson fury we saw in that ring and that's what happened let's reverse the role if aj was fighting down first and that happened they'll chew him up that's it chew him up and spit him out that was it but we're not gonna give, I'm not going to give Tyson Fury that pass. That was the real Tyson Fury we saw in that ring. And he did lose to Ngannou. Ngannou has that win. And Tyson Fury has it. He's, he's, he's been getting lucky by taking... By, by, he's been getting lucky by not taking L's. He's been getting lucky. Eventually, your luck is going to run out. I don't know if it's going to be with Usyk or with AJ. Or by them finding out you've been a drug cheat your whole career. It's, it's eventually going to be found. It's going to be found out. But I believe that was a real Tyson Fury that fought him down. I'm tired of them giving a pass. I know to, these guys are giving a pass. AJ has saved him twice. February fight with Usyk being moved up to him, crying out, crying out, injury, and then Usyk fights. I mean, then AJ fights on Ghana. And beats Ungano the way he should be beat. Tyson Fury doesn't have power in his hands. What happened to the power that he's supposed to allegedly have? Tyson, I heard Tyson Fury can, can knock out somebody, but he ain't knock out somebody like 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 uh, Ungano. Even he he gave Ungano an illegal elbow, which should have uh, should have been an automatic disqualification. Embarrassed the boxing fans. Embarrassed. But nowhere was did we find that. <clears throat> that Tyson Fury had power. Tyson Fury does not have power. Tyson Fury's career has been 
He's been nothing but cheat, 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 cheat. It's going to make me believe he's been cheating. Because how aren't you able to knock out Ngannou? But AJ was able to do it within three rounds. Three. Unbelievable. You're telling me your fight with Deontay Wilder, what Deontay Wilder has been saying is true? You knock out Deontay Wilder, but you can't knock out Ngannou. Yeah, Ngannou has a chin, but come on, bro. They say you have power. You're 6'6 six, six, or 6'9, six, apparently. Okay? But you couldn't deal with Tyson Fury. You couldn't deal with Ngannou, but Ngannou knocked your ass down. What would AJ do to you when he gets in the ring with you, is my question. I hope AJ, if he fights AJ or Usyk, they got this guy on a 24-7 testing and he's not allowed to fly out of nowhere he's gonna be if he if he decides oh he's not home automatically they say i, I will put it up as he's he's cheating he has to be there when they're there testing let him know where he's at but as of right now aj has saved his ass twice february and i'm going to fight he saved he saved him because how is AJ supposed to, how did AJ deal with Ongano the way AJ deal with him? And Tyson Fury can't do the same. The Saudis might be like, we can't, we can't get Tyson Fury, man. That's that's an embarrassment. Straight up embarrassment. But again, congratulations to AJ. Excellent work. Of course, Len Lennox News has to give praises to AJ. He's been bad mouthing AJ for a long time. People they're gonna chew his ass out. Imagine him bad mouthing AJ. When he just saved boxing. Man, they're gonna chew that guy out like nothing. He knows. And I keep saying AJ's give AJ gives Ty Lennox Lou way too much respect. Too much. But for some reason, AJ's the bad guy at the end of this at the end of the, the conversation with everybody. He's the bad guy and he's 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 always nothing. Remember when they when they thought Joe Joyce can knock out AJ? Just remember that rumor or that, that feeling that people were saying. Joe Joyce, within two, three rounds, he's going to knock out AJ. Really? He's going to knock out AJ. <laughs> I think they must have forgot. They must have forgotten who AJ is because AJ switched up styles. They must have forgotten that the guy is a nasty, nasty puncher. Every punch he throws hurts. Usyk, Usyk didn't want to tell the truth. He did not want to tell the truth when he fought AJ. He knew every punch that AJ threw hurt. He was so happy when the style that, that AJ usually fights didn't show up that night, he was so excited. I mean, look at the and look at the difference between the first fight and the second fight, right? Did you see Usyk's face compared to AJ's face? Hmm? Usyk was excited when that AJ didn't show up. Let, let's not alone forget that complaining of illegal body shots that Usyk complained about that he keeps getting away with. Now, I am so tired of this bullshit, right? AJ hit him clean in the body. That motherfucker went down. Right? These this cheat these cheaters. Usyk is another one. They'll keep doing the same shit till they keep getting away with it. Usyk, we all know Usyk is very, very weak to the body. Hit him really good there. You're good. Hit him really good and you're good. That guy goes down. That's it. He didn't get up for that AJ, but the ref let him go. The ref let him go instead of AJ pouncing on him and finishing him off. But they let that go. That's crazy. That is crazy. That shit looked perfectly aligned with that freaking belly button. But he let that go. Then your boss not the first to do it. AJ was the first to do it. AJ landed that clean shot there on that fucking belly button of uh of 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 Usyk. But they let it go. Man, these these two guys, I, I, I've had enough. I've had enough. And these refs, I've had enough. But let the let the victorious man win, which I think I know I believe it's gonna be Anthony Joshua at the end of the day. Remember, I said they, they all thought AJ was weak for some reason. They must have forgotten who they were facing. All of a sudden they get in the ring with Anthony Joshua. Then AJ's a huge man. They forget, like, oh man, his shadow is pretty big. It's going to be hard to try, try to defeat that shadow because AJ is a big man and he can punch hard. Once they get in the ring with him, they forget. They forget. And they start. it starts coming back. It starts coming back once AJ starts landing them shots. As, you, you, listen, Zangzale did Joe Joyce a favor. I say that right now. If AJ, if it was AJ, it would have been, it it been a devastating knockout. 
devastating knockout. But that's where I'm going to end it, brother. Thanks, bro. I'm sure take on this and you're right, bro. <laughs> that's a, that's a, I pick around from you right there, Tajabwe. <laughs> Guys, you heard it from Tajabwe. Make sure to like the video, share, subscribe. Keep supporting the channel. We'll keep dropping gems. May 18th is a big, big day for boxing. Can't wait to see Furious as Usyk. I'm rooting for Usyk though, I have to say that. It will be good if Fury wins, but I'm just thinking if Fury wins, he might just retire. That guy, the, the, the traits, his traits of retiring after big fights are there. Retire and call himself the best ever and then, you know what I mean? It's just one of those things. I do hope Usyk wins so we can see the rematch. But, you know, Fury Joshua is a big fight. It's a bigger fight, definitely, than Usyk Joshua 3. But we need a champion that will stay active. That would that is like that that doesn't have what fights like Joshua. We need a champion like that because Joshua, as a champion, fought everyone. Although he wasn't active like that, he became like one of those fighters that fight once or twice a year. But now that he's active, we like this kind of Joshua, bro. He's a monster. So guys. Keep support the channel. God bless you all for always supporting BBC. Have a great, great, great day, night, wherever you may be. Cheers. How long, how long are we going like this?